it actually it is the game of content if you want to build brand if you want to build your name or anything you have to put content as gary we always say yeah. it is the game of content social media or any platform it is just a game of content yeah so yeah. if you're not putting content you you will be never discovered mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if you want to be discovered you have to share content so that's why also i'm, I'm also into the content space Mm -hmm. And I have my YouTube, mm -hmm. I have my LinkedIn, I have my Instagram, where I put heavy content and figure out which is working, which is not working. Mm -hmm. So that is what I'm doing, actually. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to build my brand through the content. Do you find, because you do, so you do media buying, right? Like Google ads, Facebook ads, do you do that for clients? Mm -hmm. Yes. I uh, Also, just you said you do media buying for like Facebook and Instagram ad and Google ads. Mm -hmm. Similar, I'm also doing uh, Facebook and Instagram ads. And for Google ads, I have a person like in my team who does Google ad for me, for my agency. Mm -hmm. And I have an uh, agency also. So this mm -hmm. just recent, recently launched that agency. Gotcha. Gotcha. And alongside, I do my branding and every the content you see on LinkedIn, YouTube or any social media platform. Uh, those are created from my side uh -huh. okay. and you know what the most funny thing or maybe funny because uh, whatever video I record those videos are no scripted mm -hmm. just from my brain actually whatever I have experienced through I just uh, have a camera or like my phone stand and just start recording with that topic mm -hmm. without any script and so, so, so all and of your all of your social media content you do just kind of like organically you just kind of say what you feel in that moment like that you just it's all yes yes yes. Oh, wow. yes yes uh like i do not write any script i do not write any points over there i just say like uh if i'm want to talk about the e in the e-commerce industry that what are the three things that e-commerce industry must focus on mm -hmm. just i have one line and on the basis of line i share my own experience that can go on the social media Mm -hmm. yeah do you think it's important to talk from that is what without any script because what i feel uh if uh, yes because what i feel uh, uh in that case if you are sharing with your experience uh, you tend to perform best when you uh, perform at the script level so what happens uh, especially in my case when i go with the script i am not able to perform at my best level mm -hmm. because what i think what i know i can speak well but what is transcripted or script based it is very hard for me to express myself. Mm. And so when you so that is what when when you work with your right. with your clients, like what's the process or how um, I should ask you, how did you get into media buying? Like what made you want to go into that? How did you start your agency? Just the kind of history of it really. Yeah, so actually I started my career, like I first learned about digital marketing in a uh, digital institute. But I think that was a waste of my time of eight months around because what I have, what I had done, I have, I would have done with a small course or just by watching YouTube and Google stuff. If I would have more, uh, I had more awareness about that. But yeah, that is that was totally fine to start in my career. But I got internship after that. I was moving very fast and learning very quick into this. Initially, as everybody start, I started also the social media management stuff. Mm -hmm. And then uh, around uh, two years, I switched my company and there I got an MNC. And I learned around one year there, media buying stuff. And that's how, and by the side, I was also doing my content creation. I was very happy on the LinkedIn, putting content and uh, building connections. And the... Uh, this thing like building connection and working on LinkedIn, working on my personal brand, creating content that helped me to push myself next forward from the crowd. Like uh, I'll, I'll explain this. Uh, this helped me to start get my inbound clients. Like people started uh, like business and also agency person started me reaching out for my freelance work initially. So when I got good projects, and I had confidence that I can generate results to my client while working in the agency, like MNC. Then I quit my job and uh, then I came into full freelancing. And after working four to five months, I thought I had good uh, amount of clients, around 10 to 12 clients. And in international and national also. 
so i thought to why not i should switch to a uh, digital marketing agency that media buying agency so i started with two to three peoples and yeah those three peoples are with me uh, with uh, it's been two to three months i started my agency and all going good and uh, i have 90 percent of ratio success ratio wow so that is the quite similar but uh the fun factor or the important thing that i would say that helped me to reach there where i am that is content actually yeah so you would say to anybody watching this who is working freelance at the moment and how do they get to the point where they can scale up to become a, a mark because right when you when you build an agency right it takes the pressure off of you because you have like that foundation underneath so you would say for people spend that extra bit of time per day building content and just put more of yourself more authentic self out there on the internet so that people know exactly right. who you are and what you do yeah Right. Actually, what I have seen as a business person, because starting an agency also it comes into a business thing. Uh, once you start, like uh, you're working in a job, so what you have, like to cry, you have your boss. Like you do not cry, whatever split you like have. Right. Your boss is uh, have to cry, has everything to manage for you. Right. But when you start your a business or agency or you start your freelancing uh, if client goes from you or anything shit happen with you or your client you are the only person responsible so you are the person who is going to cry who is going to happy or just you're the, <laughs> you're the responsible person for that yes so whatever <laughs> is going to happen you are the person who is going to face that pressure face that happiness everything but you work in the job so your boss has to manage everything for you Mm -hmm. so that is what i have faced actually when i started my agency so yeah i got lots of ups and downs because sometimes works best so you are the, on the top of the happiness and sometimes it goes worst so you have to cry in the side <laughs> because <laughs> something bad happened to you right so that, that is i'm very uh, uh, with myself here mm -hmm. i have cried also of some some of when some of my client went wrong and went away how did you how did you cope with that because i've had that you always have some clients where you think you're going to get results with them and sometimes it's your fault sometimes it's their fault and obviously being new as well like i've had that in digital marketing where you really think where you know you know your, your mind kind of runs away with you you think you can get the results you kind of picture everything going well in your mind and it doesn't play out that way how do you deal with that when things go wrong how do you keep your cool and not then worry about all the other clients you've got how do you kind of keep your head above water because it's something i've struggled with and i wouldn't want to anyone else deals with it yeah actually uh, feeling is same actually because what you go through what i go through what other founders and business owners goes through they go all the stuff actually because all, we all are human and we all are we will get uh, failures we will get losses so there we have to cry but inside um, I'm very self-motivated and to keep me self-motivated I listen good podcasts like Gary V and in India there are some good podcasters like uh, they record good uh, content so I listen them to keep myself motivated and I always say inside myself I know this, this is um, right now I'm crying, but uh, I will bounce back as soon as possible. So, yeah, th that is all. Like, I think every business owner, every content creator or every founders, they are self-motivated more than anything. Mm -hmm. Because if they are self-motivated, that's why they are here. Mm -hmm. Right. Who are not self-motivated, they are into jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Because their boss is self motivated. That's why boss is motivating them to work. Mm -hmm. And why did you become motivated to start a business? Because you're clearly not motivated for jobs. So, what made you, or what was like the switch for you that made you want to take that upon your own shoulders and, and do what you do now? What I believe from my uh, childhood, I think uh, I heard something in my head. Uh, I don't know I was saying this is uh, quite uh, okay or not, but in my side, I had one thing that I am I am for good things, I am for better things, and uh, I can do what other can't do. I know I'm what where I am, I am not uh, the extreme level of the things, but when, whenever I fail down, I see. Mm -hmm. 
I can do it. And if one more thing, if I think I keep hitting that place mm -hmm. until I find the things. Yeah. So that is what actually. And uh, in that sense, if someone is saying no to me, one more thing, if someone is saying no to me and I know I am right, so I'm right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whether you are saying hundred times, thousand times that Sachin, you are wrong. I don't mind. I know my heart is saying inside, in my family actually, uh, more like my whole family, entire family said that this person is going to be nothing and he has no career in life and he, because I had girlfriend, I had some of the things that I was not going good in the sense of family. But now when they see me, they see me as a different person. They like to talk to me. They like to be with me and guided by me but earlier it was very different so they never wanted me to talk and they were on my face saying me that i cannot be anything in the in in the family or any anywhere but they see me differently because uh, what i feel i feel if because they were saying no to me but inside me i was very aware about that yes i think and i can do it so so you you knew that you were capable of bigger things and when you mentioned that to your family they kind of like completely disagreed with you and that only made you do it more basically <laughs> yes yes because uh what i feel if you know you are right and whatever you are going to do and uh, because what you see no one can see you right. because you have different perspective and i have different perspective mm -hmm. and you cannot wear my glass mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. that is what so i, I had I, I was seeing things uh, differently and they were seeing things differently yeah. And uh, actually, they were more focused for government jobs. In India, there is a buzz of government jobs. If you are a, if you holder of government job, either it be you or it be anything like swapping the roads. But uh, if you are go into governments, you will be rewarded in the uh, family and society. Mm. And also you will get good girls, like in the sense of marriage. <laughs> so, <laughs> but... Uh, but I was I was also preparing for, but I I'm not going to be into that field, mm. and uh, I said no to family that I'm not going to go into government jobs, and they said me as a failure. But inside me, I was very uh, keen and aware about me. If anybody can do it, like uh, if not in the worst case scenario, I'll be at least earning my stuff by my side. Mm -hmm. So I was as confident that worst case scenario, what can happen? Everybody, every like lowest person is earning the fee in the market. Mm -hmm. So I'll be also, if not in the worst case scenario. So I was aware, like everybody can do anything. Like I mean, I mean, uh, in Hindi, if it would be better, but <laughs> in my language, so anybody can, anybody will be doing anything, right? Mm -hmm. So they have everybody has to do something in in that case. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll figure out my way. I'll figure out my things. So that, that was the actually motto. Mm -hmm. And so for you, you started your actual agency, did you say a couple of months back or a couple of years ago? Yes, uh, it is a couple of months back, but uh, it that had in my head long back. long. So I, I started doing things step by step process. First, I went to jobs to learn about marketing and everything. And I did a couple of year, years for like actual learning. Then I switched when I got good projects with the help of my personal branding. I switched to freelancing and I gave it six to eight months. Then I thought I have good projects. Now I can look out for the media buying agency. Then I switched into media buying agency. So that's how it started. And it's been around two to three months I have started, but I have good clients into my agency. Mm -hmm. And how do you, like, how do you find it in terms of, you know, do you worry, like, obviously the economy's changed a lot, you know, we had coronavirus 2020, and then the economy's kind of taken a dip there. Did you, did it ever worry you that your entire financial security was being run on you, your freelance work, your agency? Was there ever a point where you 
were concerned or was it always because I speak to a lot of different entrepreneurs I speak to a lot of different business owners and we all have the same thing in common which is this like delusion where we think everything's just going to work out because we're going to keep doing it to the point where it works out did you did you find that too right because we're all delusional but we all somehow get here so so what did you find was your like motivation to keep going on those harder days when when it did get a little bit kind of rocky what was your kind of you mentioned I think, like podcasts, uh, for, like yeah yes i think for every business owner as, as i said uh, they are the self motivated and uh, and everybody has the their failure everybody everybody goes with the wrong the sad phase of the life but uh, they are the only business person who bounce back and they they are surrounded with the good stuff actually i have seen a lot of people they are surrounded with the like funny things they are surrounded with the motive like uh, the other stuff that that doesn't matter to their life right that doesn't add to their life and from when i was in 10th or 9th to 10th uh, in school from there i had started reading books i had started reading uh, listening a uh, good i uh, like watching good videos like motivational videos and uh, self motivated things so from there uh, i think that was built into me mm-hmm. by the back side i was because when you listen a lot of things and uh, when you read a lot of stuff like good stuff as you can see at the back side i have good books <laughs> number of couple of uh, books that i read and go every day so in subconscious mind you feed yourself that uh, if that is something wrong you will figure it out right because uh, it feeds your subconscious mind actually mm-hmm. and uh, like motivation or good things or everything that you know inside that uh, this is maybe wrong at this moment but will bounce back that's how i think every business person they read good stuff or they listen good stuff or they watch good stuff mm-hmm. so that's how and that is not for the only once or twice that has been coming from the long back mm-hmm. that's why they are self motivated so you would say like building patterns where you're you're consuming self motivating content being around people that are maybe happy to cheer you on rather than put you down you would say it's about slow kind of small little habits in the background reading books watching videos podcasts people whatever it may be in the background that slowly pushes you forward and then over time that helps you would you say that was for you what kind of helped over years right and- right so i would make it clear with this word uh, like uh, this line if you listen bad things always so in subconscious mind it will be bad for you mm-hmm. right either it is good moment or bad moment you will face the bad things but if you have been listening good stuff and you have been reading good stuff and you have been watching good stuff either you are in bad or good it will feel like you are going to be at this moment you might be at the bad position because of that you have listened good stuff you will always feel that something is going to be good for you mm-hmm. right so that's what i think that's why a, like self motivated person like why they are self motivated just because of they have been listening some self motivated things that is good for them so, so would that you that is how actually so would you say as well someone who's self motivated it's not just about getting themselves to do the work it's about getting themselves to stay positive and stay happy and those two things together help you do the work because that's something i've noticed a self alex being a positive means that you have to listen you have to be surrounded you have to watch or read something positive because uh, every day you will uh, have a setbacks but to uh, like jump from there you have to be surrounded with your some good stuff that can be like meditation people follow the meditation stuff and there's some people read good books and be it anybody you can call it anybody in the world either they are medium business person or who, who ever in the success in the market they all surround themselves with the good stuff either they can be people surrounding with the good 
people or surrounding with the good books, surrounding with the good uh, video or content, that is how they keep up their energy. Because we all feel some uh, like in our side because that is the human nature actually. Mm -hmm. Feeling bad without any reason sometimes. Feeling bad with the, some like some of the cases that you have gone through. But we all go but one that keeps you motivated or keeps you energetic with the day that you know if I'm going to do something that is going to result me in that return. Second and something that you have uh, connected to your dots with in subconscious mind mm -hmm. that you have listened some of the positive things so that is what and I also one more thing I would add here I also believe that it is not matter of right now it is the matter of that you have gone through in the past mm -hmm. right if you are self motivated or uh, staying positive right away it means that you have gone something right with the positive things. Mm -hmm. So that is what makes us uh, motivated or being positive in the sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. So that's... No, I like that. I like that a lot. I think it is a, <laughs> it's making sure whatever today feels like you process it as something that's happened, you deal with it. And then you do actively find things to do that put you back in that positive mindset. So you go again tomorrow, right? And to me, success is I suppose somebody who has long-term success knows those habits and puts them in place and people who don't and don't do those things are actually the people that fail because they stay stuck in the fact that they're failing right now and then they continue to fail. Um, so I've, I've noticed that with people and I've, I've noticed a lot of that as well, like negative talk online. You, you seem to be someone who's always positive, always looking for the right things. And I'm guessing that's just because you don't consume negative content. You always look for people who talk positively, right? Right, right. Because uh, you know what, I am bad at in politics. Um, mm -hmm. I in my news feed, I never get uh like uh, uh any bad news on my news feeds, like mm -hmm. social media news feeds. Mm -hmm. I never get politics. I never get news of uh like any whatever happening in the society or in, in India or anything. Only I get uh, good things like positive or motivated things in my Instagram feed. If I go into reels, I get uh, like out of ten. At least I get seven to uh, seven to eight content that are motivated content or self esteeming content or that's something adding value to my life. Yeah, that's, so that is how I have been. It's interesting because I I actually said that to a friend. I said like, if you want to know how bad you are stuck in life, just look at what Instagram is just like suggesting you. And <laughs> what you've been sitting at looking at for three hours straight. Right, right, right. right. Inst Instagram shows you your bad habits. Like it's good at that. And I would say if if you're not getting anywhere, look at what Instagram is suggesting you, and then it's probably because it's not what you're trying to strive for. So start consuming lots and lots of content of where you want to be. Is what I would say. Yeah. Right, right. And actually, social media are designed to reflect yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I have interest in Facebook or Instagram or other social media platforms shows me only that. Mm -hmm. So if someone is interested into politics, they will get news of what is going in the society, what is going in India or who is doing corruption, who uh, are like the politics and does anything bad something or and whatever happening in the market so they will get that kind of result but in my case there is nothing like what is i don't understand i don't care about what is if market is going back or whatever happening bad in the market because at the end you have to do your stuff either politician are doing for you or not but you have to do your stuff mm -hmm. so that is only one thing yeah no i so, agree I agree. I, I agree completely because I think people people like drama, right? People sit there and like to look for things wrong. But, and that's why people can't sort their own lives out is because they can't wait to find something wrong rather than find the solution to what's wrong. Right, right, it right. usually takes a little bit more effort, right? So people like to sit there and just think about the bad things. Because one thing I, I would just add here, one thing, uh, we are living in the same society, same country. Maybe you are in US, I'm in India. But I'm talking about the world level. But we are in the, like, I'm in India. But in India, someone is millionaire, someone is broke, someone is the middle. Mm -hmm. We are seeing different, different things. And we have same uh, politics, we have same environment, we have same country. 
might be location also also is the same and we have same language everything same but someone is like someone has break the pattern and someone is stuck just because of the surroundings because of the some effort because of something they thought that i should not blame on the governments and everything like there must be something that they have gone through right they have built for themselves yeah. so that is what actually yeah yeah there's there's problems everywhere and it's about how you get yourself out of those problems right and um everybody likes to say they've got it harder than everyone else and everyone likes to claim that they can't do it but it's usually they just need to start doing it. we've all done i've had those days where i'm like oh, i give up man and, and then you just you kind of guess focus again and then you go again but it's interesting so so in terms of you know with your you know media buying and um you know what would you say you've been doing it for a few years have you seen it change have you seen just this just this because i'm from a marketing perspective too uh, talking to another marketer have you felt that you know obviously like you know google ads have changed over the past few years meta has changed given how it's changed and then the ios updates and things like that what would you say or how can you see digital marketing playing out this year have you changed your tactics with your clients or just a little bit about how you work or how you approach growing companies through marketing Actually, what I have seen uh, in from the January, actually, I would say especially from the January, Facebook is very bad at their management. On the management, in the sense, like without any reason, they are blocking the first ad accounts and like uh, getting the structure. Actually, uh, starting in the morning when I wake up, it was Monday actually, when I wake up and I open my Facebook ad account, like. Uh, out of like my five of ad accounts got disabled without any reason. Really? So like sometimes they are changing a lot in the things and uh, I don't understand why they are doing because sometimes without any reason, without any changes or anything, they are blocking our ad accounts. I'm into more, I'm more into Facebook advertisements. Like uh, I work with the uh, e-commerce brand. So, in, uh, so I can tell you in the, what, what is happening in the Facebook so it is happening for, and there also their support team, their words have been changed actually. Mm -hmm. Earlier, actually uh, in my Facebook ad account, some of the ad account, there was a spending limit. And once I was, uh, you know, uh, having words with them and they used to say that, yes, uh, I'm going to work on this and sending this uh, to my internal team to go work on this. But from January, what they are saying that, uh, uh, sir, this our system will detect, and it's been two months, but their system is not detecting. I don't know why. And uh, I've been saying again and again, and they say that, sir, you are following all the stuff uh, that our system should know, or you are checking all the list, but our system will automatically will do. But earlier, they used to like send this message to the internal team, but now for that case, they are not sending to their internal team. I don't understand. I've been sometimes frustrating on them, but why you earlier used to do this, but now you don't do it. I don't understand what, what is happening in Facebook. Mm -hmm. So there are some of the things that uh, maybe that the layoff happened in Facebook and other uh, uh, like internet platform that is sector that maybe that that the case because some of their employees they they got layoff and they have short of the uh, people maybe any reason right but something is not happening good at, at their end because of lots of ad account going disabled because without any reason mm -hmm. so that is what like bad things is going with facebook so that's why i'm also thinking to upgrade myself in new fields mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you do you find that the, the companies you work with and the brands you work with do you push ads as much anymore? Because I know with myself, I am pushing more. You need to do content. You need to, you know, build more personal brand. The founders need to talk more, tell people more about the product. Do you find, I found that advertising has changed and now it's much better to sell people with a story rather than just an ad. But have you felt that with any of these companies, you always want them to understand content first before they start doing media buying? Uh, yes, one thing you might have also observed that UGC content, right? Mm -hmm. Why UGC content is working in the market just because it has uh, something to showcase like in the form of the story, mm -hmm. right? Because 
like if you have cloth you see means someone is wearing that cloth and showing that this is working that is also a short story right that you are showcasing to your people so in some of my client that uh, mostly i uh, right now i'm working with uh, coaches and consultant so in that case i would say uh, they are going very good in the story form content mm -hmm. for some of my client story based content is working best because that uh, in in one case they are sharing their own personal story how they transform their life mm -hmm. so that is working best and also i would say one thing targeting is one option that you have to consider but what is the beyond targeting or what is the beyond everything that is your creative and message how you put into in front of your audience mm -hmm. creative is most important creative and video how many ads you can put into the your audience like you have to test and try which is working best for you and so you have to never stop until you find your best if you find your best go with two to three or like it depends upon how soon it get exhausted or get uh, like time frame or what uh, there is a word limit fragmented something so yes uh, but you have to keep pushing new ads to your audience because sometimes it get limited like if i see one ad and again i see one ad and that again and again so i start ignoring that mm -hmm. right audience mm -hmm. fragmentation i think uh, i think i'm not hitting the right word so yeah, you think, start uh, getting that right like frequency frequency maybe audience not. fragmentation yeah. fatigue sorry creative fatigue ad fatigue yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, because like when you when you look at like TV, right, and you look at like TV commercials, they run them for months, and then everyone starts to do advertising, digital advertising, and they want, they want us to run an ad for six months. It's like no, no, you need um, like a sales funnel, right? You need top of the funnel, and then and a story that goes along so that people follow the story on the ads. And yeah, that's interesting when you know people wondering to avoid to avoid uh, creative fatigue or ad fatigue you have to keep pushing new ads actually every maybe every 15 days or every month mm -hmm. so that is how you can build a sustainable sale or sustainable results for your client yeah and you would so say, that is you say that's for facebook instagram and google and other platforms as well because there's obviously like reddit and snapchat also do ads now like would you say that as a cross actually uh, mostly i work with the facebook and instagram ads and uh, also like i'm talking about in the sense of social media so in the sense social media you have to put different different contents maybe every 15 days or maybe in the month but depends upon the business or depends upon the results if, if you are not getting consistent results or after some times you have to put uh, new videos or new content yeah. So that so how, is how do you work with the companies when they say that? Because I, I agree. I think you do need to do regular changes. How does the companies cope when you say that? I mean, do you make the creative for the ads as well? Or does the company supply that for you? I give them two conditions, actually. Uh, one condition, maybe. Uh, that uh, two conditions, if, if, uh, in, in the basis of the charges, I say, if this is my charge to between this, like in the Indian currency, I would say, if like, uh, 40,000 to 50,000, right? In 40, like Indian rupees, it is. Uh, in your case, that may be uh, $500 to $600. Uh, that is minimum that is start in the Indian currency, in Indian market. So $500 to $600. In $500, you will design creatives and videos from your end, but just I will give you the sense of how you have to do it, like my strategy point. And in $600, I will like my agency or my people will do it for you. Just mm. you have to give the raw photos, raw videos and we'll do it for you. So that is how I price them. So in most of the cases, they go for the $500. They say, I uh, will do from my side to save that extra money actually. So <laughs> that make uh, that makes a lot of sense and also save my money and sorry, save my time and energy. Mm. So that that's most of the cases they go for the five hundred dollars, mm -hmm. but only few are there who go for the six hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. And where do you see like your career going this year? You see, you you know your agency is still new, but where do you see yourself going? Where would you like to be by the end of this year? And and what are your plans really for your agency? Uh, for like this media buying, like uh, why I'm losing trust with the Facebook actually just because of a lot of changes and a lot of stuff going with the Facebook without any reason they are happening. Actually, a lot of my clients went away just because of the 
uh, they are ad account called disable and for the longest period of time we tried multiple ad accounts to like make them active but i don't understand why facebook are doing without any reason and everything is uh, good and we have been good following with them but they are just delaying the things uh, time to time so that's why some of my client went so i'm losing my hope on the facebook but yes still i i'm very confident that i can generate good results with my clients and i have been generating good results so at the result level i'm very confident about facebook and instagram ads but uh at the disabling point and everything, it it is a lot of advertiser and business person, and and I'm I'm seeing myself like at the personal level. If I talk about, I want to produce more content so that I can build my brand because at the one level, I find myself that if you are a brand, you will win in the markets for the longest period of time. Mm -hmm. If you are just going as a advertiser. Or if you're going just at a media buyer, media buyer, you have to push yourself to get clients. You have to push yourself to get leads, right? And everything like you have to outreach to the people. Okay. But if you build a brand around you, people and lead and uh, brands, everything follow to you. Mm -hmm. And my 90% of leads or clients are inbound actually. Wow. With my branding, with my... Uh, that what I have built around marketing and everything. Mm -hmm. So that is how everything going. So I want to build like like Gary Vee actually. <laughs> I'm a very big fan of Gary Vee branding. Mm -hmm. You might have heard. So uh, I want to be somewhere around him. Maybe bigger than that picture. <laughs> 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 but uh, right now I have that mindset because Gary Vee uh, has a branding perspective. And he plays everything with the brand, right? So now Gary is a brand. So that's why I also want to build everything from scratch and my brand label so that people recognize me. Because you know what? When you build a brand through your content, everything, people trust you more than anything, mm -hmm. right? And also they are able to invest with you. Just because, just one more thing. There is two, two things. You pick first, your eyes goes on the first on the brand, right? Apple is like in India, Apple is like very big thing. If you have in your hand, like if you have Apple in your hand, people will see you in a different level. Mm -hmm. So that is just because of brand. So brand is brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. No, you will I, be more respected. Yeah. 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 And what would you say if you could give any advice to anybody working freelance or starting out in marketing? Because it's it's very saturated. Like there's a lot of marketing agencies out there. There's a lot of people starting to do this. What would you say to anybody trying to go into marketing, um, into entrepreneurship, whatever it may be, or maybe even a younger version of yourself? What would you what would be the message that you could say to them if you could? Well, one thing, if market is saturated. So if you have to stand out from the crowd, you have to make your name in the market, right? Like uh, there is a lot of phone in the market, but there is only one Apple, mm -hmm. right? And in, in the same, uh, you might have seen every entrepreneurs, now they are focusing on their branding, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So why they have understood that what is the importance of market uh, branding and marketing? Mm -hmm. Every entrepreneur, earlier they used to be a gauche, like they were working in the office and they were building their brands and business, right? But they were not working on themselves. Mm -hmm. But now they are working. They are going into interviews. They are going on other YouTube, big YouTube channels and sharing their stories. So that is That is how it is. Like, if you... You are not heard in the market. You are like uh, nobody in the market. Mm -hmm. Then you have to reach out to the people. But if you are heard in the market, people reach out to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So every like you feel if you look anybody now they all are focusing in the branding sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that is only one thing. Like maybe I'm saying this label, but that is a huge 
content creation and branding is huge. Mm -hmm. And and what, what would you companies? How how would you say people should start? Because some people might be nervous to show the personal brand. What would what advice would you give them to like get in front of the camera or or write you know blogs anything like that? Uh, starting actually they like how I started. I would say I started I I, I started with uh, writing content. Like first, I would say if you don't know how to start, just start copying with others. Mm -hmm. I read a book that is still like an artist. That is Austin Leon. He says there is nothing new, or there is nothing new under the sun. So to start something, you have to start copying others. Mm -hmm. Just copy, don't imitate. Right. Yeah. So, and uh, copying from other different, different things. So that once you copy different, different per person and mix up them, that becomes a next level. Mm -hmm. So I also started copying uh, other people. Just putting their content but now i have my own content mm. one and a half and two years after, later i have my own content i did just because of the copying others how they were doing mm. so if you don't know just start copying others that's it and um, um, some is... people some people might turn around and say that's copying like what would you say to that because to me all good marketing is is based in copy right and not just writing but based in looking at what's working and then doing that and then finding your way of doing that it, if that makes sense yes uh, actually uh, if you find something is working for others and if you can add your input input that that is means copying it's not i said it's a copy and imitating is different imitating is just exact thing what he is doing or she is doing copying means what is working good for them or and if you can add little value to extra value to that uh, like maybe post or uh, content writing or video edit video stuff so that is what mm -hmm. and start with copying i would say start with copying and there will be a point where you will figure out your own stuff mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. that is how because from childhood to today we have been learning things by copying yeah now we have own perspective right and it's i would say i would say in business as well it's like <laughs> it's like people who spend too long learning and sat in class trying to learn something there's nothing wrong with that but the only way you can really learn is by going out there and doing it and then you find an easier way to do it right so it's and it's like you say we've 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 you know since babies you learn by copying the world around you whether it's not you're copying the noises or the body language you you copy and so it only makes sense in a business world to begin looking at what works and doing that right i have also re read a uh, uh, like a book actually so in that book there was written the easiest build, way to build a business is by copy. Mm -hmm. but i have been su uh, succeed in the market mm -hmm. uh, that was in different world i think uh, that was for if you want to be successful you have to follow, you have to copy what successful people do. Yeah. Don't do extra. Just do copy. Yeah. Copy copy paste can make you successful. <laughs> yeah. And one thing I just want to ask you just before we go, because I'm I'm interested in this. There's been a massive surge in like AI with chat GPT, mid mid journey, Dali, all the different kinds of AI that have come on the scene. Have you started utilizing it and have you found purpose for it um and how do you see it changing the marketing space because some people really love it some people hate it i'm i actually really do enjoy it I, I use it a lot even just recording this i'm using an ai how have you found it if you have started using it and how do you see it affecting marketing business and everything really actually one thing i would say either you like it or don't like it <laughs> right so that is that is one um, yeah, so, sorry, it, sorry, it cut out a little bit there. So just say that again. So whatever you said, just say it okay. again. So either you like it or you don't like it. It is going to come into the market and it is going to destroy the market, right? Mm -hmm. Like other social media platforms. Like uh, earlier, people used to think that Instagram and Facebook, they are the king. But TikTok came into the market and destroyed all of the market, right? And 
they change the perspective of the content, video content, mm -hmm. right? Earlier, they were used to be the long form content, but after the TikTok, that is now vertical and short form content. Mm -hmm. So that's the, with the AI actually. Mm -hmm. So it is going to change and it has changed actually. That's why the, I think one month or two months that they got 5 million, 10 million users in the short spam of the time. So, and it is helping a lot in the content, but uh, when it comes to personalized content, people will go for like personalized and story-based content, people go for the content writer actually. Mm -hmm. Because AI can uh, like uh, look for content that is existing right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, AI cannot write a content that belongs to me, that belongs to my journey, mm -hmm. right? So that is what. So for the personalized content, uh, people have to go to the. But for the like uh, static content that is already exists in the market and that can uh, like AI can generate by themselves. So we can use the uh, from there. And I'm also using uh, like AI stuff and that is helping me a lot to create content. It's so really I'm loving that also. Yeah, it's really, what I find is really good to help with ideas and it's really good for anything written. So like I said, recording this for AI, just, just being able to take a transcript, taking large amounts of like something like this, I can put into chat, it will find the keywords and then I know how to put keywords into my social media content, which will then help it on the on the algorithms, right? So it, if you use it to help you rather than, if you try and make it do all the work for you, it you then run into problems because you just sound like a robot, right? But if you use yes. it, <laughs> if you use it to help you with what you've already got, you've got your own story, but you use something to help you write down that story or speak that story, or whatever, then I, I feel it's very, very good. Yeah, I, I feel it's really good. Yes. For the personalized story, uh, we have to go to the people because uh, like uh, I only know what I have gone through. But uh, for the ad copy that uh, like I used to write and doing research, but now AI is doing for me, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. writing ad copies for my client and for my advertisements from uh, from AI, this, uh, like, chat APT. Yeah. So I've, they are very cool. Yeah, I've, I've tried that. I've taken, like, uh, I've taken copy from clients' websites, and then I put it into chat and ask it to get keywords. And then you know what keywords to use on Google and whatever it <laughs> is. It's good. It helps. It saves a lot of time. And um, it's, it's finding the balance between it. Right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like earlier, what you used to do for the one hour, now it is doing us for the one minute mm -hmm. to five minutes. Yeah. yeah so yeah, that yeah. is how it is helping. But only thing that cannot it help us that is personalized, that's it, I think. Right. Right. And would you say, yes, uh, would you say mm -hmm. like that's the key to marketing is building something very personal? And that's why personal brand takes off because people actually buy a product for the story, not for the product. Like I've, I've learned that. I always thought marketing, like when you first joined was like seeing a cool advert on TV, but it's not, it's because you're buying because of the story that the advert showed you. So would you say like really people buy based on the story or, or maybe even a different way? I mean, how, how would you look at building good brand? Actually, uh, as I uh, said earlier that Everybody now going into the branding, everybody is going into the marketing because they have understood the essence of this. They have understood the importance of this. So that is what, like I told you that uh, I have seen some of entrepreneurs, they were not into the marketing, they were not into the personal branding. But once they got and understood the power of it, now they are going into the marketing. They are they are going others in interview and sharing their own story, yeah. their own journey, how they built that business, how what is their like vision, mission, everything they are sharing. Mm -hmm. So that is how actually this is working. So if you want to achieve like make things easier for your brand or for your business, you have to like build a brand around that mm -hmm. and how you can build a brand there is only one way to build a brand by creating content mm -hmm. on the internet that is that's it on the television that you see that is see or watch that is a content on the internet that you see that all the content that is only way to build a brand that is content that's it mm -hmm. yeah
No, I like that. Is there anything else that you would want to to add or you'd want to say to the audience or how people can reach out and work with you? Is there just any final words from you, um, you know, about what you do or or anything you feel that would help anyone? So uh, first, I am a media buyer and I help especially e-commerce brand. This is about me. I e-commerce brand also coaches, help them to generate leads, sales in front. And in that, uh, one if one thing I would say, to anybody to stand in the market is to actually my life has been around branding more than marketing or advertising or anything so and that changed my life actually and i have seen i have been seeing people they they were more high like advanced than me in the same industry and they were seeing they were doing great things than me but they are still into the job they were under the boss and everything and uh, but now have started my own thing just because of the branding and that pushed me a little extra way to go so that is only one thing if you have to stand in the market so you have to get out of the crowd how you will get out of the crowd just because putting extra effort into the content putting extra effort into the your branding level because as i told there are a lot of phones or mobile in the market but there is only one uh, apple in the market and there are of laptops in the market maybe in your country there will be one player who knows from uh, its branding right mm -hmm. so the same thing uh, there might be a lot of uh, biscuits in the market but there is one that we go and we ask for that right so the same thing in any industry, like there is a lot of camera in the Nikon, right? So only we go for that just because of the brand. There, there are a lot of market in the camera, right? So that is what, like, if you have to stand out, you have to build a brand and how to build a brand. There is only one way that is content. That's so simple and people makes it so complicated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do that. Keep it, keep it simple, and then tell the story is what I would say. Yeah. How it uh, it looks so simple, but it's so complicated actually. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. It isn't easy. It isn't easy to make content, but it's the simplicity of it is you shouldn't try and win over your customers. You tell them the story, and then they spread the word for you. Is the way I've kind of worked it out. Um, and that's why I've started, you know, doing things like this. Is just talking to people to hear their stories because I find actually you learn far more than just sitting there like messaging people or cold calling people because it's just it's also like it's horrible right when you try and get clients through the forceful word right. sorry <laughs> <laughs> right right yeah anyway that was that was perfect and uh, is there anything else to add or anything else at all that you'd want to say uh that was I think uh that was I actually this this is really great like you uh took a lot of things from my side actually and I had uh, I never imagined that I'm going to add a lot of things into that it is it happened just because of you because you were asking some of the good questions and that's what that's really made me to like come up with these ideas like I have gone through like I have read a couple of books and from the starting like you you know you brought me from there like from the starting to currently where I am and you touch the, those points also from that future I'm seeing right now. Mm -hmm. So you pick all the uh, like spot of mine, like past, present and future. So that because of you, <laughs> so you're great, like a uh, person who can bring story from others. So thank I you. got the sense of that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, no, thank you. Very, thank you very much. And um, I'd love to catch up with you again in another couple of months. Maybe we'll do another talk like this. See how things have changed. Maybe, maybe Facebook might have shut down at that point. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but, sure, uh, sure. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. And so, now, love, like, because because I I enjoyed myself in this actually with you uh, while talking. So mm -hmm. in future, if there is anything, I would love to go with you. Perfect. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to stay in touch. I'll be on LinkedIn. And um, what I'll do is I'll write up the article. And then what I usually do with the interviews is sometimes because Zoom 
like especially if we're speaking from across the world it cuts out and sometimes there's bits I'll have to cut through but I'll usually make some short form content I'll put that on LinkedIn um, and I'll tag you in everything and, and things like that and we can just share that together um, and then I may be growing an Instagram for short form content for Nexus haven't started at the moment but if I do I'll put that in there and then I just I'll add you in as like a co-creator or anything like that and then we can just kind of grow on the Instagram yeah. Awesome. So one more thing, I also uh, push on my YouTube channel. So okay. if I can get this whole clip and I can send to my editor and I also can post my own LinkedIn. Yeah, sure. I so, will. Uh, oh, sorry, on LinkedIn and also on YouTube channel. I also want to, uh, if you don't mind. No, that's fine. I'll um I'll see how I look in it because this lighting has not been as flattering as I thought it was going to be. I don't know why my uh, my webcam's super blurry as well. So sorry about to put up with that. But that's yeah, sure. fine. That's fine. That's fine. Actually, I have editor and uh, like uh, he will like uh, enhance the quality of the video. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I'll um I'll send you some bits. I'll splice some things together because I know it, it did cut out a little bit on Zoom as we were talking. But I'll salvage what I can. I'll try and remaster some stuff as well. And then I, what I can always do, I'll make a Google Drive for you and I'll send some stuff over there. Perfect. 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 And also the content that you are going to put, like just if you can write some of the summarize to put put into the caption, that mm. would be fine. Yep. Yeah, I uh, let me see if the transcripts worked okay. Yeah, the transcripts, because what I can do is I can send you um, the transcript. So the minute we'll stop the awesome. call, I can send you a link because I've had to do it in two different blocks because we've been speaking for nearly an hour. But um, I will uh, I'll send you the two links and then you can actually take the, the just copy the transcript as well, like word for word. So that would help you with the captions and stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So that's great. Uh, that is fine. And this was very amazing for me. And I'm also going to put on my YouTube. And if you have your YouTube channel, do send me your link and uh, I'll I'll mention your channel over there. Yeah, I'm gonna so I'm gonna start doing some YouTube you... content. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. So yeah, I will do. Just whatever you put on Instagram, whatever you put on LinkedIn, just put on YouTube as well. Yeah. The mm -hmm. only effort is going to uh, make you have to uh, put video over only there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe that you can hit on YouTube. Yeah. I've tried to before I tried to do the shorts before it didn't it didn't go very well but I think um I think it's one of these things with YouTube sometimes you need like a better setup because now it's gone quite if you're doing long form you need like a better more authentic setup but um yeah YouTube I wanted to I want to do I want Nexus to become like a are you familiar with the podcast Diary of a CEO have you have you listened to that podcast with Stephen Bartlett Sim I'll, I'll I'll send it to you on LinkedIn I'll write it in the yeah, sure, sure. Sure. it's really it's really um, good um the podcast is called uh bear with me diary of a ceo so oh, one more thing what is your best uh, uh uh book if you just give me two to three books like my favorite books yes yes i would like not, to write not ones i write because <laughs> i i do write freelance i actually like as an indian I, I write stories so i wondered if you meant what, what are my books that i've written um my favorite books, fiction or non-fiction? Anything, anything that you want I, that can help me actually. Because I, I read book, I haven't started reading good books after a long time. I've read I've read a lot of Carl Jung, right? Are you familiar with Carl Jung, the psychologist? No, not familiar. Okay, with if you if, if you just remember any, anything, you can put into the LinkedIn chat. I would love to go and buy those books. Yeah, yeah. I'll, um, I used to get like free ebooks online. One second, let me just, um, my computer's gone really slow all of a sudden. I, I think it's because the trend. And three books, if you can give me, and the three podcasts, if, like one or two podcasts that you just one of going to share, or any YouTube channel that you think that can help. Three podcasts. That personal you... and professional, uh, personal and professional life YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And yes, this... I'm so three three podcasts slash youtube channels and then three books that i find would be good for everyone else yes yes okay yeah, can that can personally and professionally both because mm -hmm. i would love to go both that you think that is will hit my journey yeah i have that yeah i've got a couple actually i've got it might be a few more than three i've got but quite a few that I can for share. You, i have this book actually i'm i think you might have heard it not for this, I would I would say for this uh, for you, I have whatever I have said. Most of the things I have said from this book actually, it's that that line I have said 
still this is i uh, still like an artist in this book uh, like under the sun and I start copying from the people or from the stuff that mostly written in this book actually okay i haven't read that book so i'm going to so, give that a read i'm going to get that book and i'm going to give it a read uh, yes yes this is like 100 page book actually and you can finish one or two days oh wow okay. and uh, i would say you will never regret if you read this book and you want to start anything from your side mm -hmm. okay i'm going to give it a read still like an artist i'm going to give it a read i used to do the things but i could recollect my stuff from this book actually like I used to copy, like I, when I started my Instagram and uh, my LinkedIn, I used to copy from people with best stuff. Mm -hmm. But when I read this book, I realized, oh my God, I've been doing this. And this is really very helpful. Mm -hmm. So that is how.